Now let's look at a method called the push-pull method. Instead of using a recovery machine to push the liquid refrigerant, we're gonna use a recovery machine to push vapor refrigerant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our liquid line, our high pressure liquid side, and we're gonna hook it up to the liquid on the tank. Now we could turn the tank upside down, hook it to the vapor port, or in this case, we're just simply gonna hook it up to that straw or dip tube. Now, because I only have a quarter inch hose going to this recovery tank, that straw also being a quarter inch size isn't gonna slow us down. So I'm gonna leave the tank upright. So this way we've connected the liquid line to the liquid port of our recovery tank. So what I'm then gonna do is hook a hose from the vapor side of my recovery tank to the inside of my recovery machine. Then I'm gonna hook a hose from the output of my recovery machine to the vapor side of my refrigeration system. Now all we've done is make an entire loop and this would not be practical for a residential system. This would only be a practical for a large refrigeration system like such as a chiller, a rack system, something with a lot of liquid refrigerant we're gonna be moving. But instead of hooking my recovery machine up, pumping liquid into the tank, we're gonna hook a recovery machine up pulling vapor out of the tank and putting vapor back into the system. And the idea is that we're pushing that liquid back into the tank. The idea behind this is as our machine is increasing pressure, it's putting that pressure at high temperature into the system. So it's causing the system pressure to continuously go up. And as the liquid's being pushed into the tank, that liquid's boiling away from a liquid to a vapor absorbing heat, so the temperature of our tank goes down, it keeps the compression ratio low, and we're able to move a lot of liquid very, very fast. So in this end, we're assuming that we've already purged all the lines, but we're just gonna go ahead and open up all of these valves. Now here you can hear refrigerant flowing because I had this into a vacuum. So now we're going to start our machine up. So you can see that we're not moving a lot of refrigerant very fast because this is a small system and what we're doing is pushing the liquid into the tank and using a recovery machine to pull the vapor out of the tank and push the vapor back into the system. And again, by having that warmer temperature coming in here, it increases the pressure and that pressure continuously pushes the liquid into the tank. And if you had a large volume of refrigerant, it actually works fairly fast. So it's another option, but if you see the EPA test and it has what is the push-pull method, this gives you an idea of what it is. If you do commercial refrigeration work where they're using a lot bigger recovery tanks and usually have more than one recovery machine and sometimes they even have recovery machines that are mounted inside of service vans or inside of service trucks and they actually run hoses up and they recover that refrigerant extremely extremely fast so there's lots of different options but this is just giving you an idea of the push-pull method and this is not a very good scenario to operate it but hopefully it gives you an understanding of that now let's move on to some more stuff to learn